Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, back today with a pretty epic mail day. Um, I know I ordered a bunch of stuff in the last two weeks or so and they've all been coming in recently. So let's take a look at these and see what kind of uh, prospects and uh, potential future stars that we've got. Start off with this one. And uh, you can see here the Chihuahua has been getting himself the mail and bringing it to me, which uh, I did not teach him, so it's not a good thing. So this one is a card that I picked up uh, pretty cheaply, and um, it is a 2017 Ronald Acuna Bowman paper t from the holiday version. Um, the print run on these, I, I'm not sure exactly what they are, but it's significantly lower than the normal Bowman papers. And this was going for uh, less than um, what I saw the actual Bowman uh, prospect paper cards going for. So I'm a big fan of um, this particular product because I think things are a little bit lower print run and um, they're a little bit more uh, difficult to find. So picked up that Acuna PSA 10. Got one here. And this is another Acuna. This is also a PSA 10. Um, this is the Bowman, and, Bowman's Best, excuse me, and this is the Top Prospects Refractor. Looks like it's almost a little bit um, see-through there uh, from the refractor. Um, but this card is uh, one that I just think is a great looking card. It's not going for nearly as much as the other Bowman cards. Um, but something that I think is just a really great looking card. So I'm trying to pick up a bunch of the actual Bowman Best um, Akunas. A lot of PSAs in this order. Um, and here's another uh, Akuna, same kind of picture as the paper holiday one, but this is uh, the chrome version of the Prospects uh, in a PSA 10. Another card that I just think is really great looking. Um, I have two boxes of the Bowman Chrome um, that I have not opened up yet and I think I'm going to wait on those for a little while until maybe Acuna gets called up and uh, go from there. I'm going to be talking about this card in some other videos. I don't know um, if the video is going to be up before I do the mail day or not, but um, we'll be talking specifically about Ronald Acuna. Oh, this is a really great looking card. Um, this is also the a Bowman's Best Ronald Acuna, and this is a refractor. Um, unlike the other refractor, um, this is not your typical kind of base refractor. This is the green version. So it's going to be numbered to 99 there. You can kind of see that there. That's a great looking card. I think it has some real potential for me to um, take a look at it under the magnifier and uh, maybe send it out to PSA. A couple more packages here. Okay, so this is um, two more PSA 10s. These are uh, Nick Senzel uh, prospect cards or Bowman first uh, cards in the Bowman Chrome. Um, this one is just the base, um, really nice looking card. I got this in a lot actually. Um, they were both together and I, I got them what I would consider to be extremely cheap, especially since um, this particular one is the um, Mojo Refractor from the Mega Box. Um, so well, I don't know if it's actually called a Mo Mojo Refractor, but the Mega Box Nick Senzel version. Um, and the, pay, the actual non-graded ones of these are going for $25.30, but I got both of these cards for less than $30. So um, I think Nick Senzel has a chance once he gets called up to be uh, an elite prospect. This looks like a, another Akuna. Yep. 
Yep, so there's just another one of the Bowman chromes trying to accumulate uh, a large quantity of these. This is a lot that I purchased. I think there's two in here total. Yep. Um, this is the Topps Pro Debut uh, Ronald Acuna. PSA 10 for this right now. I only see one on eBay at the time of the video, and it's asking price is $70. Um, I got a box of Topps Pro Debut a couple months ago and um, only pulled one Acuna from there. So I want to pick a couple more of those up and see if I could send one of those or all three of them out and maybe get a PSA 10 back. This is another lot that I purchased. This one is a really cheap lot. I think I might have got it for $6, something like that. There's not a lot of bidding going on for Nick Senzel right now. So I was kind of jumping on a couple of things that I saw. Um, have basically his first Bowman chromes. Looks like we've got four of those. Um, even though I've got the PSA 10, uh, he's a prospect that I'd consider um, sending out and seeing if I can get some more PSA 10s or PSA 9 or something like that. I think I'll have some decent retail value. This is a Talent Pipeline Refractor. This might be from Bowman Draft. Um, actually, this might just Bowman, regular Bowman Chrome. Um, has Tyler Maley on there, who had a great first start um, pitching again tonight. And then Amir Garrett, who had a pretty decent rookie year. Um, two of the paper versions of his first Bowman. Take a look at those to see if those are gradable. And then um, this is the reason why I got the lot. This is um, the red 70th Bowman. Um, a little more difficult to come by. It looks like it's in really nice shape. Um, it's actually not numbered, but uh, the Bowman Reds um, are not that easy to find. Similar to how you see some of the um, yellow cards going for a pretty high price, especially the Acunas, um, which can go up for $25, $35 for the raw card. And that is it. So um, kind of a recap. Got a lot of Sen uh, Nick Senzel here. I'm going to take a look at those in a little bit to see if we can send them out. A couple PSA fronts for them, uh, including the Chrome Bowman First and the Mega Box. And then uh, a couple of Ronald Acunas, two of the Chrome PSA 10s, uh, the Bowman Paper Holiday version of that card, two Topps Pro Debuts which um, is one of my favorite looking cards uh, from last year of Acuna. And then possibly my favorite card from him uh, overall is the um, Bowman's Best. You have the PSA 10 Refractor and then the green card as well. All right, guys, that'll do it. Um, check out some more of my videos. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you guys think about Nick Senzel and Ronald Acuna below. Thanks.